guys on the cut line want to see. And I think this is super interesting for Kyle and Harrison, for the people that are behind them. Right, so Christopher Bell has been up here a lot. Now, Parker Eslov does this on Saturdays in the Xfinity Series, so he has some experience. John Hunter's obviously been in all three series and found success. Cody Ware, but it's just guys maybe you're not used to getting these pushes from at the end of these races. But those guys on the front row and the bottom, they were teammates. Those guys were for years as teammates. Parker. Catch it up with Josh Berry here, who just checked release from the Infield Care Center. First of all, are you okay? And what a scary ride that was down the back stretch. Yeah, I'm all good. It actually probably wasn't as bad as it looked, but uh, man, I'm bummed because we had a hell of a night going. Uh, did such a great job by Rodney and this whole four team car was so strong. I mean, we were in position, man. I just, um, I'm really, I'm really proud of the job I did tonight. Really proud of the job the whole team did, man, because we were, we were in condition, contention, and you know, I could have, that could have been our day, but. Didn't work out. I just want to thank everybody at Stewart Haas Racing at Ford and NASCAR for building safe race cars. Eero for coming on board tonight. Man, it, it's uh, disappointing, but whether we get a one or flip, we're going to go to work Monday and try to win next week. What a great sight being able to talk to Josh, guys. Indeed, and although it didn't end the way he wanted, it was a phenomenal night. That four was at the front. All right, so these names you see on the screen have not been involved in one of the multiple wrecks tonight. That's the easier list to yes. get create. Exactly. So you said it, Steve. Who is going to be the best pusher? There's no question that Christopher Bell and Kyle Bush, they know how to work together. Parker Retzloff, he just doesn't run the Cup Series that often. What kind of pusher is he going to be? 23-year-old Harrison Burton on the left of your screen. Up against the two-time champion, 63-time winner in Cup Series competition, Kyle Busch. We go into overtime, presented by Credit One Bank. Let's go! Might be a restart violation on is Kyle Busch. Is it going to be somebody with a win already this season, or is it going to be a fresh winner race their way into the playoffs? leads the way. Oh. He has not won since 2023 and is desperate for a win. He's coming off one of his best results of the season last weekend in Michigan, but he's being pushed by Christopher Bell. Gonna get to the white flag, looks like. A little bit of space, a little bit of room. Oh Harrison Burton's not out of it. Cody Ware's not out of it. And Parker Ritzlaff is having the moment of his racing life, being at the front of this field. One to go here in Daytona. Nemechek made it three wide in that second lane, in that second line, and that has killed the momentum. You've got to go back a long, long way for Kyle Busch. 2008, the last time he won here at Daytona. And now he is ten. This is going to be huge. Win number well, 100 for the Wood Brothers. Family here at Daytona. What do you say, Dad? Yeah, I can't talk. <laughs> no, can your wife? What a magical moment. It's the Wood Brothers 100th win. It's Harrison Burton's yeah, first in Cup. Incredible. And he's going to the playoffs. What a drive, what a push. He found a way, the momentum wasn't there on lap one. He found it, he forced help. Such a great job. Do you have 
to sprinkle a dose.